All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone or GMS. <clears throat> I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. All right, this is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And um, this is just something we went into yesterday on the block. Uh, the book of Isaiah Matter of fact I'm going to go straight to it Alright I'm going to explain why um, I have this As the screen uh, The screenshot Okay and this is from the uh, Matrix Okay this is when uh, Neo Woke up He had just woke up They had him They were. He was He was going through a, a The healing process <laughs> And he had asked, you know, why do my eyes hurt? And uh, Morpheus told him, he said, because you had never used them, you know. So, but the reason why I put this here is because I was uh, just sitting meditating. And I thought about that, you know, because we went into the book of uh, uh, Isaiah, the uh, sixth chapter, okay. And... Uh, it says to convert and be healed okay and see we were all messed up man okay we were in that matrix okay and the healing process started when we woke up to this truth okay when the lord woke us up to this truth let me clarify that all right saint john 15 and 16 you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Okay. So, this is the the reason I put this screenshot was because this is when Neo woke up. Okay. His healing process had just begun. Okay. And we were all tore up, man. Okay. Spiritually. Okay. Even um, coming into this truth, it also has has uh made us better physically okay uh the apostles like last week for sure were going hard on uh take your health seriously okay we ought to we ought to take our health seriously we are not you know the scriptures speak about uh defiling the temple man okay we have to put that off okay and and, and do better and 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 this this word makes us do better it does it heals us like i said spiritually okay and it uh also helps with our uh physical okay cuz when you you think better you do better all right okay all right being more in the spirit okay that that reflects through our physical too okay um but again this is uh him waking up okay and when we woke up we had to start that healing process okay so matter of fact let me bring out isaiah chapter six and i'm gonna get straight to the point in verse 10 it says make the heart of this people fat okay meaning the mind and make their ears heavy to where we can't we can't get this we could or we wouldn't have been able to get this truth okay all right make the heart of this people fat okay and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes we just because at one point we couldn't see it either it took uh the lord to send angels to wake us up Okay, the spirit had to enter into us, okay, to guide us to get to that truth, man. And it, it happened right when it was supposed to happen, too, okay. Because even in the matrix, uh, Morpheus told Neo, he said, Normally, we don't wake, uh, wake, wake people up after a certain time, it's just not good for them. You know, they, you know, they go into the old bottles, you know, a lot of the older 
Jay, they they set in their ways, man. You put that new wine in that bottle, it's gonna burst. You know? Um So let me go back. Isaiah 6 and 10. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes. Un unless, you know, they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts. Get this understanding, okay? And convert, okay? And be healed, okay? So this is the healing process starts once we're converted, okay? From that old man to the new man. As a matter of fact, let me go to uh, uh, Ephesians, okay? Let's go to the book of Ephesians. Chapter 4. And let's start it about. Mm, we'll start at 21. Just get to the point. This is Ephesians 4 and 21. It says. If so be that you have heard him. And have been taught by him. As the truth is in Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's what we out there preaching. We out there preaching Yahweh Shai, man. Crucified. Okay. We out there preaching the truth. The word. The word is the Lord. He comes in the volume of the book. Okay. St. John 1 and 1. Okay. It says. Shit, what was I at? Let me do this to the old screen on time, Mike. Okay. It says, uh, uh, if you I start Ephesians 4 and 21 back at the top, if so be that ye have heard him, okay, and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man. Okay, what we used to be into, which were the things of this world, fulfilling the, 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 the lust of the flesh. Okay, now it's time to dead that shit, man. Okay, because that was what was what, what had us all tore up and, and sleep in the matrix, man. Okay. And anybody should want to be better. This is what heals you. People want to know how to get better. This is the this is how you get better. All around. This is how you become a better person. If everybody in the world were in tune, which we know that's not the way it's gonna be, but I'm just using it as, a, as an example. Okay. Yep. Yeah. This would be a paradise. We, you know, even in this little state, just being, knowing this truth, we, we, we're the people you want to be around. You and I, people don't have to worry about nothing with us. Ain't nothing, nothing shaking. Best people to be around, man. Okay. But we know that's not the way it's going to be. You know, and this truth is only for Israel, okay? So let's go back. Ephesians four and twenty-two that ye put off the put off Salakia, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Waking up. Converting. Transforming from that old man to a new creature. A new man. Okay. Putting off the old conversation. And as we know. The, the, the conversation of this world. The way of this world. This present world. 
That's what the Lord is coming back to destroy. He's coming to destroy that. That's going to be the real NWO. Okay? Esau's coming with his fake farce NWO. Yahusha is coming with the eternal NWO of righteousness. Righteousness. The world, the earth is going to. The earth is going to rejoice, man. Okay? It's going to be renewed. People, the, the world, our people, they're going to be able to actually feel happiness. Shit. It says... And that ye um in uh, Ephesians four and twenty three and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, okay. And that ye put on the new man, which after the heavenly Father is created in righteousness and true holiness, okay. And then it says, wherefore putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one. Of another, yeah, and the elect are okay in the body of the Lord. The members of his body, the church, is the Lord's body. That's the that's the elect. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me go to Colossians. Let me go to Colossians 1 and 24. It says, Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you? And fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of the Lord in my flesh for his body's sake. Talking about the Lord's body's sake, which is the church. And that's the elect. That's the Israel of God. Okay. Let me get another scripture. This is 1 Corinthians uh, 6. And 15, it says, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of the Lord? Shall I then take the members of the Lord and make them the members of an harlot? The heavenly Father forbid. And the elect won't. The elect ain't going to be in this world acting like they are the truth. They're going to really be in this. this they going to really be in this thing, man. Okay. And you see guys come and go. We've seen guys come and go in this last 14 plus years. Lots of niggas. Okay. They 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 rather the harlot. Okay. So you can't make make the members of an harlot. Okay. Being renewed, being a new man. Okay, a new creature. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go back to uh, or let's go to Galatians. Rather, Salakia. Let's go to Galatians, chapter six. And uh, let me see. I said that, that that's going to be the elect. Okay. Galatians 6 and 15. For in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Okay. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of God. So the elect is going to, man, be a new creature in the Lord. And not, you know, turn the members into a harlot. They're going to be uh, uh, a new man putting off that old conversation. Okay? 
Let's get one more. All right, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and uh, 17. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in the Lord, Hamashiach, Yahweh he is a new creature. Okay. Dang, what that say? Okay, in the uh uh um in the margin for new creature, okay, it says he is a new creature or oh crap, I lost it. It says, or let him be a new creature, okay? All things are passed away, behold, all things are become new, okay. So a new creature, man. Again, not being that old guy, converting, being healed, okay? The healing process, because if you continue doing the same old, same old, being having that same conversation in the world, you'll never be healed, okay? Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to close. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.